Welcome back to Lightscribe.tv. In this second video in the series, I want to look at the next component in creating Lightscribe labels, and that is the Lightscribe CDs and DVDs. One of the other questions I get asked a lot is can I use my existing blank CDs or DVDs to burn Lightscribe labels? Well, the simple answer is no, you can't. And I'll explain why. On the left, there's a normal disc, a standard verbatim DVD. On one side, you burn your music, video, put your files on. And on the side, you can see on the image, you write with a black pen or stick a horrible sticky label on to remind you of what's on the disc. A Lightscribe disc, however, the one on the right, is different. The side you burn your music video files to is exactly the same. However, the face side, the side that the label goes on, is very different. It has a special coating and it's this coating that enables the laser to burn or etch the label design into the disc itself. This makes these discs very different in appearance and behaviour from normal DVDs or CDs. Another question I get asked is, Steve, will we ever get Lightscribe in colour? I mean, this black and white thing is great, but what about colour? Well, again, the easy and quick answer is, sorry, no. What we do have, however, is the standard gold, which we've gone through, and five alternative base colours. Orange, red, green, yellow and blue. As you can see from the image on the right, these perform exactly the same as a standard gold Lightscribe disc, in as much as the image is burnt in a monochromatic way into the face of the disc. So you just have a grayscale image, but this time different colour backgrounds. Personally, I still prefer the gold, but it is a matter of choice. Is there anything else that's special about a Lightscribe disc, apart from this coating? Well, you may have noticed, if you've looked at the discs, um, well, the one on the left, there's something different about the centre. And that's the Lightscribe data ring. Now, it may just seem a bit geeky, but actually it's, it, it really is the reason a Lightscribe disc performs the way it does, apart from the coating. You see, all those marks help the Lightscribe drive line the disc up. So if you need to re-burn the disc or you want to do a second burn to get a deeper, darker contrast, the image that you've got, the text, the graphics on your label will line up perfectly. Again, this is something that's unique for Lightscribe discs, be they CD or DVD. They're exactly the same. So who makes Lightscribe DVDs and CDs? Well, most of the manufacturers of normal discs have made Lightscribe discs. And I say have made because a lot of them no longer do. The ones in this um, image, you can still get their discs online at Amazon or eBay or other online stores that stock discs. Verbatim always used to be my disc of choice. It still is, except it's more difficult to get hold of and more expensive. So I've swapped recently to Philips. Uh, Memorex are good. HP discs have always been around and they still are in quite good numbers. And there are others. So really that's it. 
I just wanted to show you the difference between a normal DVD or CD and a Lightscribe disc. The brands you can still buy, where you can get them, so you know that you can't use ordinary discs in a Lightscribe drive. So what's next? Well, in the previous video, we covered our Lightscribe enabled drives. In this one, the discs. In the next video, we tie it together with the Lightscribe software. This comes in two parts, system software and labeling software. And you can get free software or premium. And we go into the merits of both. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.